Welcome to the CADFIM ANSYS tutorials. In this presentation I'd like to show you how to generate a visualization of the results produced by ANSYS Mechanical. We can use color distribution to display spatially distributed variables such as displacements, stress and temperature. In this case we're using red, orange, green and yellow for discrete color distribution. There's also an alternative which is to use a method of illustration that allows the colored images to merge into each other. We can additionally completely deactivate the colour distribution, so that we only see the result relating to the deformation, as here. So what we're seeing is the colour of the components or the materials. And we can then select a scale for the deformation factor, which in this case will be a scale of 1 to 1, or an automatic scaling factor, or a scaling factor that we enter ourselves, such as a factor of 10, 100, or 1000. There are different ways of displaying undeformed structures, either in the form of lines or as shaded geometry. It's possible to change the scaling for the legend bar by modifying individual colour bars. For example, by dragging on the bar with the mouse, or by overwriting individual values with the desired numerical values. The number of colour bars can also be changed by clicking on the legend bar and changing the number of bars using the plus and minus signs. Another nice way of illustrating the results is via the sections option. So we select the section icon, go to a standard view, for example the view from above, put a line across our model and this line then forms the section plane. The section plane can also be changed. We can slide it through the model, enabling us to gain a better impression of what is happening in the internal part of the structure. In addition to the section feature, there's also another method of illustration. For 3D structures in particular, it can be helpful to mask out areas subjected to a low load, so that you only see areas subjected to a high load. It's good to have the undeformed geometry overlaid as a wireframe model, or, as here, in the form of a shaded model. As well as a model based on colour distribution, you can also have a vector-based illustration. And you can alter the dimensions, and change the illustration method using the 3D and 2D arrows. Stress can also be illustrated using vectors. For example, what we see here is a close-up of an opening on a support. The main compressive stress is shown in blue, and the tensile stress is shown in red. We can see the extent of the stress and the size of the vectors, and we can also tell the direction of the corresponding stress components from the direction of the vectors. We can also see the stress revealed in terms of why it actually arises, and the direction it takes. Being able to see the actual cause of the stress enables us to gain a better understanding of both the stress and the deformation. As well as illustrating the whole assembly as seen here, it's often desirable to display only specific parts, which involves simply selecting the corresponding parts. So let's define the results that we want to see with respect to these components, then update our result and then see the result displayed on this specific component. To enhance the documentation generated from the results, we can select whichever 3D images within ANSYS we wish to be inserted into the documentation. When the report is generated, the model structure, the model geometry, the material properties, and also the results and images that have been defined are all included into a report that includes everything fundamental to the report. And to finish with, we can transfer the report to Word. All the texts and images will therefore be found within Word. Or we can pass all this information over to PowerPoint, so that all the images, graphics and XY plots are automatically integrated into the stylesheet being used. 
For a more detailed visualization of the results, not only in 2D but also in 3D, we can use CAVE, the coloration and visualization engine. CAVE fulfills two functions. It compresses the results data by a factor of between 50 and 300, and it also facilitates visualization of the results independent of ANSYS. Microsoft Office products can read this format, i.e. you can use 3D data within PowerPoint to generate individual images, and to blank parts out or to insert them back in again, or to select exploded views, and so on. You can additionally create a visualization in the form of a 3D PDF, meaning you can use 3D data from ANSYS to produce visualizations on any PDF-capable PC.